Okay, chapters 7, 8, and 9. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, An end, the end, is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will compass upon thee all thy abominations. And my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, and in evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come, the end is come. It watches for you, behold, it is come. The morning is coming to you, O thou that dwells in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near. And not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee. Kaylee, you're sipping water. According to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thy abominations, and my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thy abominations that are in the midst of thee, and you shall know that I am the Lord that smites. Behold the day, behold it is come, the morning's gone forth, the rod has blossomed, pride has budded, violence has risen up into a rod of wickedness, none of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs, neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draws near, let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strength than himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none goes to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence, and the famine within. He that's in the field shall die with the sword, and he that's in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys. All of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them. And shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them. In the day of the wrath of the Lord, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations, and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them, and I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pump of the strong to cease, and their holy house, their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction comes, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 8 And it came to pass, in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness, as the parents of fire, from the appearance of his loins even downward fire, and from his loins even upward as the appearance of brightness as the color of amber. And he put forth the form of a hand, and took me by a lock of my head, and the Spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem to the door of the inner gate that looks toward the north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy which provoked to jealousy. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw on the plain. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thy eyes now the way toward the north. So I lift up my eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward, at the gate of the 
the altar this image of jealousy in the entry. He said, Furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel commits here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and you shall see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall, and when I dig in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do there. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jeazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, have you seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? every man in the chambers of his imagery for they say the lord does not see us the lord has forsaken the earth he said also unto me turn thee yet again and you shall see greater abominations that they do then he brought me to the door of the gate of the lord's house which was toward the north and behold there sat women weeping for tammuz then said he unto me have you seen this o son of man turn you yet again and you shall see greater abominations than these and he brought me into the inner court of the lord's house and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. And he said unto me, Have you seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, and have re returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in fury. My eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. Chapter 9 He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lies toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with the rider's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar, and the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was to the threshold of the house and they called the man clothed with linen which had the writer's inkhorn by his side and the Lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof and to the others he said in my hearing go ye after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity slay utterly old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary then they began at the ancient men which were before the house <coughs> and he said unto them defile the house and fill the courts with the slain go you forth and they went forth and slew in the city and it came to pass while they were slaying them and i was left that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Oh, Lord God, will you destroy all the residue of Israel and thy pouring out of your fury upon Jerusalem? Then he said unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. For they say, The Lord has forsaken the earth, and the Lord sees not. And as for me also, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. Stay tuned for chapters 10, 11, and...